So our topic is now rate of flow, which has to do with uh, water passing through a pipe. So in this case, I have a circular pipe with a radius of 10 centimeters. I know how fast it's flowing through. I want to know the rate of flow, which is looking at how much fluid is actually moving through the pipe each second. To do this, the first thing I need to do is find the cross-sectional area. I need to know the area of that pipe. And it's a circle because it says it's a circular pipe. So that means I'll use the area of a circle. And I've been given the pipe in centimeters. Now I need that uh, radius to actually be in meters. So I'm going to remember to change my centimeters to meters because otherwise it won't work because I want to know the amount of liquid in liters passing through, which means I have to deal with meters squared. Now the area, this is a old equation we've known for a long time, right? Pi r squared. Uh, I'm going to use 3.14 as pi. You can use your pi button as well on your calculator. And my r, my radius, don't forget to square it. I'll just type this into my calculator and it will give me 0 0.0314 meters squared because that will give me how the meter squared, right? Because I need it in meters in order for this to work. So that's my first step. Step two, I'm going to find the rate of flow. And I have an equation that. That is quite straightforward. The rate of flow is equal to the velocity of the liquid times the cross-sectional area. Now we already found the cross-sectional area and it tells me in the question the velocity of the liquid as well. So I just need to take the 20 meters per second, multiply by my 0 0.314. You can see now why I needed meters. This needs to be meters as does this in order for that to work. And I will multiply them and that will give me 0 0.6 0 6 8 meters cubed per second. Now remember meters cubed per second is the same as liters because a meter cubed is a liter so that will be the same as 0 0.628 liters each second, which helps you understand what the rate of flow is actually telling you, right? So it's kind of clear what your rate of flow is. So the rate of flow is 0. Point, I'm going to round it to two sig figs, 0 0.63 liters per second. That is